Lightning is a natural phenomenon. It is a powerful burst of electricity that happens during a thunderstorm. It can be a very dangerous thing, but it's also pretty fascinating. Lightning occurs when there is a buildup of electrical energy in the air, and suddenly, it releases that energy in a flash of light. There is always an electric potential between ground and sky. A high voltage difference between the sky and ground creates a narrow plasma channel, resulting in a lightning strike, as the plasma lights up and expands. Lightning bolts can be in either direction. Normally we see them moving from the sky to the ground, but they can also happen in an upward direction. Lightning strikes most often in the summer months, when the weather is hot and humid. But how can lightning strikes impact wind turbines? Lightning strikes happen in a fraction of time, where they can transfer huge amounts of charge and high currents in a single strike. The chances for a structure to be struck by lightning increases as the height increases. Thus, tall structures are more prone to lightning. Lightning strikes can cause structural damage to the blades, resulting in catastrophic failure and long-term outages. Electrical arcing and localized currents can cause physical damage to the nacelle enclosure and its corresponding electrical components, as well as surface damage to bearing components, leading to long-term degradation and reduction in lifetime. Lightning has the potential to strike wind turbines multiple times, leading to increasingly severe damages and even the initiation of fires. In this video clip, you can see even after the wind turbine catches fire, lightning strikes still hitting the turbine. It is estimated that globally 1.2 billion lightning strikes per year. In the United States, 198 million lightning events were recorded in 2022, of which Texas and Florida are among the top states. The economic impact of lightning strikes on wind turbines is huge. According to the certification body DND, lightning damage is the single largest cause of unplanned downtime in wind turbines, and the most common insurance claim filed by wind farm owners. 5% blades damages are caused by lightning every year. The minor and less expensive damage costs around five to $10,000. While, the major and expensive damage costs around $150,000 to $350,000. How lightning can cause so much damage? Let's explore the physics of lightning strikes on wind turbine. When the strike hits a wind turbine, it will likely find its way to the tip of the blade pointing up. The sky will discharge through the blade and the tower. This discharge is a very high current running through the structure. This high current can affect the turbine in a number of ways, such as melting of receptor entry point, damage to surface entry points sometimes. Lightning strikes find its way through the fiber materials of the blade into the down conductor underneath. Heating of wires and connections. When the very high current pass a poor connection, a local heating will show up and present internal damage to the materials. It may even end up in a small explosion. Such small explosions may result in either a welding of the bad interconnection or a disconnect of the electrical wire. A disconnect will be a disaster for the next strike, as the strike may find an unintended way through the turbine structure. No one can avoid strikes to hit turbines, but the damage can be reduced or eliminated by the use of sensors and clever design. So, how can we protect wind turbines from lightning strikes and minimize their impact? Wind turbines have special lightning protection systems in place to keep them safe. Lightning protection consists of four main components. A network of strike termination devices, which are lightning rods. A network of conductors to move lightning energy from the strike termination devices toward Earth. A network for ground terminations which are ground rods. And equipotential bonding and surge protection devices. 
One important part of this system is the lightning receptors. These receptors act like lightning magnets, attracting the electrical energy and safely guiding it to the ground. They help protect the important parts of the turbine from damage. Another key aspect of lightning protection is grounding. Wind turbines have special connections to the ground, sort of like a lightning safety outlet. When lightning strikes, it flows harmlessly into the ground, instead of causing damage. It's like giving lightning a safe path to follow. With these lightning protection systems in place, wind turbine operators can reduce the risks associated with lightning strikes. Though we can't completely stop lightning, we can make sure our wind turbines are prepared and protected. Lightning strikes might seem scary, but with the right protection systems, we can keep our wind turbines safe and continue harnessing the power of the wind to generate clean energy. I hope you enjoyed this electrifying adventure into the world of lightning and wind turbines. Remember, science is full of wonders waiting to be explored.